Hey guys, so welcome back. You know how we said that the police were investigating the police about the botched investigation when it came to the late Lee Sun Kyun. Well, the results are in. There definitely was a police leak. But now it looks like the police investigating the police need another set of police investigating the police that were investigating the police. Okay, so this week, the police that were investigating the police <laughs> issued an announcement saying that, yes, there was a leak. It looks like that there is a leak in the form of a photocopy of a document that was the mid-investigation police report dated October 18th. That's the document that listed the names of the suspects under investigation. That included Lee sun -kyu. That created the initial buzz last October. So, remember the Gyeonggi Police Department, which is a separate branch, was investigating the Incheon Police Department. So the Incheon Police Department takes the lead a lot on drug investigations because they have more of the specialists, most likely because they are the police that are tied towards the Incheon International Airport. So, you know, that makes sense. But it looked like that the police seemed to be leaking out information that was not good to the health of the celebrities. We saw Lee sun Gyun be a victim. We saw G-Dragon drag through the mud. And the police said in a very big statement back in December, December 28th, they said that there were no leaks. There's no suspicious leaks whatsoever. All the proper investigative procedures were being followed based on testimony and evidence. You know, they were basically saying like, we Incheon police, we are so perfect. And by the way, they were getting their promotions because they were able to nab such big names into this investigation, even though there really was no conviction, even still to this day right now, because the investigation is still underway. Now, if you want to see why K-dramas are so good and why the villains come from the real drama in everyday life in Korea, this is gaslighting. Not 101, y'all. This is advanced level gaslighting. So let's go through the time frame. December 27th, yes, Lee sun Gyun, unfortunately, passed away, right? They're saying that it was a self-inflicted choice. Then on the next day, we had two major events that happened. One was the Incheon police having a press conference saying that there were no leaks, we're perfect, we're fine. While on the other hand, Dispatch, who many of you may know as basically the TMZ of Korea, that releases, they're most famous for releasing the secret K-pop or Korean celebrity couple, you know, that is in hiding and then they release the, you know, the information on New Year's Day. But they are basically, yeah, Korea's TMZ, a very premier online-based entertainment news site and they reported also on the 28th, the day after Lee sun Kyung passed away, a scathing article about the police investigation. It wasn't on necessarily Lee sun Kyung. It was directed at how the police were at fault. And it started the timeline. It was basically like a timeline. It was kind of like a wrap-up article. You know, in some instances, you might think like an editor was saying like, hey, you know what? make an article that just sort of like summarizes everything that happened to this point you know so, and with the focus on what the police did and then to kind of you know wrap it up they're just like yeah the police seem like they kind of really uh did him dirty did Lee sun Gyun dirty and so they started with this report the interim police report on october 18th that we've seen before that we've list that listed Lee sun Gyun as one of the suspects yes you know the the madam is on there, the neighbor is on there, and I believe the Dairy Queen's on there. Now, that created 
not necessarily like a huge buzz, but when the, uh, like uh, against dispatch, but it created a buzz against the police. So last month, the police decided to investigate itself. And so who would have been the target? It should be the police, right? And then maybe the news agency that they most likely leaked it to, which was not dispatch, October 18th is when the report was dated. October 19th, who was the one that had the exclusive, only, first report on this, on this uh, October 18th report? It was Kyungi Newspaper. Kyungi Newspaper, not Dispatch. Dispatch waited all the way until December 28th to show this document. And it's not even clear when they got this document. They could have gotten like, you know, they could have been like, you know, way last in, you know, way last in line. Dispatch says they even just, you know, got it from a third party. But who's the one being investigated? Dispatch. If it's kind of, you know, a little bit weird, like um following this right now but essentially let's say that you are the one to you know point the finger at the police and then instead of the police investigating yeah the crime that i'm pointing out they investigate you that is what dispatch is saying is going on and it seems like way unfair right now so October 18th is when the police themselves created this report that was very controversial. Why are you making this report? Why are you naming Lee sung like a suspect? And then the next day, basically that means on that day when that report was published, they leaked it to a Kyungi newspaper, somebody over there, and then they re and they published, you know, this is an old school newspaper, so, you know, they had deadline probably on the 18th itself, and then they published on the 19th. So they were the only ones that published, but they did not print a picture of the report. And I think this is where, this is how you gaslight or like you screw the person over that you want to target that had nothing to do with the crime, but they need somebody. And then if you have beef against dispatch, which a lot of people do actually, then they're going after them because they're saying like, okay, well, Dispatch was the one though that did publish the picture of the report. And this means, this this makes me, it, it just seems so unfair to me because Dispatch, if you want to, it, as a Dispatch reporter, if you want to say, hey, the police messed up here and let's start with the initial report that kicked off this whole controversy around Lee sun Yoon, which is extremely important and actually the pivotal document that created this drama that led to Lee sun Yoon making that final choice, it is that document. But if you're going to say like, yeah, the police had this horrible document that they leaked, then you better have the receipts. So I think Dispatch actually did such a good job in terms of journalism proving the facts with a proven, verifiable document to make their story and to make their case. And yet because they did that, they're being penalized. Media watchdogs are saying that this is a witch hunt against Dispatch. Even another um, progressive leaning newspaper wrote opinion articles about it saying that this is a way to really bully Dispatch for criticizing the police. Yeah, it is literally about like, I can't stand to be criticized. How dare you criticize me? How dare you embarrass me? I, as the police, am going to get revenge on you. You do not want petty people taking revenge on each other using the institution of the state. But this is an example of how it happens and how it happens a lot.
So what did dispatch say? They said that they did not get the police report directly. They did not like, you know, use some corrupt means to have a direct channel to the police. They said that they got it through a third party, which I totally believe they, honey, they, they have third party, fourth party, fifth parties. They, they got a whole party room of informants. Okay. So they do not need to go, you know, directly. So if it was out there by the county police department, they probably got it way sooner, but then they did not publish it until after Lee sun Yoon passed away in order to make the case that he was being unfairly treated by the media, particularly the way that the police were handling it. And then instead of them, instead of dispatch being lauded as the heroes they're being the one they're they're the ones being like arrested as the bad guys do you see how unfair this is so the police said that there was a continuous leak of investigative information from the beginning of the case until Lee sun Yoon was called in for investigation and they're trying to figure out in in for what purpose it was leaked and also for and in what format it was leaked well honey obviously it was a photocopy it was you know there was a picture it was probably just cacao talked or telegrammed or you know emailed to some reporter at the kyungi newspaper that published it the next day as an exclusive yeah for that purpose uh, i mean like what and then where is the investigation into Kyungi newspaper and then all of the other media outlets that also reported on this same police report? And so Dispatch is also saying that that is very unfair, that they're the only ones really being investigated and not, especially not Kyungi newspaper. Now, don't you guys think it's a coincidence that the Kyungi Police Department is not investigating or raiding the offices of the Kyungi newspaper, like the hometown newspaper? You see, like how, like, we gotta have, like, we, I guess we gotta have a buddy system or something, or like an enemy system where, like, uh, every police department has to, like, have another police department investigating them all throughout Korea in one little, you know, blockchain-y kind of a chain. Again, we talked about incentives here. Why would the police be so quick to make these types of allegations, go to the public, get attention for it? Well, one lawyer who specializes in these cases said that a lot of the times the celebrity drug cases are used to really get more attention to the police department and investigators and the people who put them in jail are promoted quickly. So there is a huge incentive to find some way to jail that celebrity and then you will get promoted quickly. And another shady update. Now this is shady because this was like a smooth, quiet little update that obviously looked like it was trying to be slipped under the radar, but thanks to the sports reporters. Like I said before, the sports reporters are essentially like entertainment reporters or they're kind of like in the same division in korea so if you see a lot of kind of the like a tmz style story coming out of sports actually it's a little bit more gritty and investigative so you could trust it more so there was a uh, many outlets that alluded basically like dropped all the breadcrumbs about our dairy queen but the sport <laughs> The sports outlet basically like you know named her by name and said that the dairy queen has been booked as a criminal on the 31st of january and her status was converted to a suspect so yes the dairy queen is now going to be facing the heat and we'll see if that soft serve cone melts and the blackmail case continues so remember when you pass away as a suspect your case dissolves because there's no way to punish you in the afterlife but if you are a victim your case continues because there is a way to punish the person that did something bad to you because they're still alive and so that blackmail case that Lee sun Yoon filed against you know, the madam and the girl upstairs, uh, that has been now assigned to a judge in Incheon, Incheon District Court, and the first trial is scheduled to be held 
later this month. Now, these things can take years, but if there's hot media attention on it, then things tend to get more accelerated. All right, guys, so what do you think? Do you think Dispatch is being unfairly maligned here? I mean, this just, uh, just kind of reeks of this... Like, how are you going to put... Like, it, if you thought it was just going to be, okay, at this point, has to be cut and dry. There's no way to turn, you know, this step in the process into another drama. Oh, yes. Well, they found another way to make it dramatic and twisty. Put your comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And see you again next time, guys. Bye-bye.